Hi guys, uh, welcome to a, another video. Now this is just a quick video to show you of a new look I've just purchased. This, as you can see, is a Robinson Class J11. This is uh, one of Batman's newest releases. They literally came out yesterday, uh, all the time of making this video, of course. So I went in and got one today, and this, there was only two left, so I decided to get one. Uh, you'll see on the back it just says Class J11 64311, which is the number. BR black with the early emblem. And it's quite a big em the emblem is quite big as you'll see. Um but these it's a good engine, uh R six O with a classification. Um and I got it because I do love goods engines, uh, I really do. And I was a bit tired whether to get this or like a three F, uh Johnson three F or a Fowler four F. Um, or something like that, but I decided to get this because uh, I love me uh, northeastern engines as they're kind of local to me uh, in Wakefield. But I don't think these ever ran in Wakefield, I'm not too sure. Uh, no, not, probably not, but you know, uh, not too fussed anyway. If I can get it out, I've only got my one hand free. Uh, if you'll just give me a minute, you can kind of there look at that, just yeah, look at the Union flag. I can get the bloody thing out, it's pretty tightly for some reason. Meh. I can't, I just. I, I, I physically can't do it. It, it doesn't want to come out, uh, so I'll have to do that off camera. But, um. Yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a quick look. At, ah, now, see, it's coming out now. It must have just got been snagged. Meh, 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 meh. I can't do this with one hand. That's better. Use my finger. Sorry guys, I know the filming is unconventional, but we'll just have to deal with it. So there we are, the J11. You see we've got some detail there. Ooh. It's quite lovely. Got a load of uh, cab detail and... Sorry, not cab detail. Um, tools and stuff, which is quite nice, actually. Uh, good move by Batman, but uh, yeah, I'm sorry for the glare on the screen, but as you can clearly see, uh, the J11, very, very lovely locomotive, but uh, uh, right, well, I'll just tell you all a bit of history about it, no, I'm not reading this, I already know this, these are nicknamed pom-poms due to the sound they make from their funnels, as it was similar to that of a certain machine gun that was used uh, in the First World War, as these were built around 1910, I think? So well, very, very early design. Uh, and then BR, I mean, sorry, not BR, LNER adopted these uh, into their fleet and basically gave them upgrades into the J-11, because I think they were originally called J-9s, but uh, they're one of Robinson's very early Good locomotive design, as you know, the Robinson 04, which is uh, a war locomotive uh, built for the Second World War, I do believe. But uh, these obviously came first, and they share the same style of tender, as you'll see. But uh, yeah, I don't know if I can see if we can get her out a bit. Sorry, I'm not, I'm not particularly very good with reviews, I don't review. Look what is that much, but uh, let's see. We've got a nice, we can get a nice look at the top of the locomotive, and some very nice detailing in there. Uh, we've got various bits and bobs uh, for the tender, you know, very tender detailing, which you'll see, including the, like <sighs> shovels and fire irons and stuff. Coupling hooks, uh, no idea. That big circle thing, that'll be for a speaker, which will go in the tender. Uh, and we've got, like, some screws there. They'll be for that. Uh, and some steam pipes, as she already has her regular pipes on. Yeah, as you can see there, look by the instructions for the speaker cradle. But uh, she is, if I just check, yeah, she's 21 pin DCC, uh, which is pretty much the standard now. When DCC first came about, it was about, it was sort of uh, 8 pin uh, was the standard, and sort of 8 pin, 6 pin. But um, for Batman now, it seems to be 21 pin. Well, in all the tender engines, at least, it's a 21 pin, most of them. 
Though you do get a couple of exceptions like the A uh, ones and twos, which are eight pin. Uh, but then the Hobby Sentinels, which I don't own one. I would love to get one, and I will one day. But um, th I know they're a four pin, so completely new Dakota slot there. So yeah, we yeah, a lovely Robinson class J11 uh, latest Batman model. Now I can't rec I can't say anything about its performance because I haven't run it yet. That's how bad I am with reviews. Um, but yeah, I haven't run it yet, so I can't really say anything about performance. But um, no doubt it is going to be fantastic, as always. Uh, if you want to look in the description of the video, I will rate out of 10 various things like looks and performance after this video, because I will uh, run this before uploading, or whilst it's uploading, so... Uh, you know, purely on looks and cl accuracy to the class, you know, I would give this a 10 out of 10. Because Batman did re-release a locomotive recently, um, another northeastern logo. And they, its funnel has been said to be a bit wonky and stuff, but for these so far, I mean, if we just take a look at the front, you know, look at that. It's just absolutely beautiful. Really, really is. Uh, it's got the number and it... And Shed plate is 9G. Uh, not sure where that shed is. If anybody has any idea, please tell me. But uh, I think I might have a look at, up at northeastern sheds. But there we are, the uh, bit of Lake Crest. Sorry, I'm filming this on the iPod again because uh, I haven't really tried the camera out. But, uh, so we've got some lovely in cab detailing. Absolutely stunning. Uh, don't worry, the cab isn't painted cream as most engines were, but not uh, these didn't really have it. Uh, the Robinson 04s I think did, but these weren't. Uh, all you need now from me is a bit of crew and weathering, really. I do think I'll give this thing a bit of a weather. But uh, anyway, so yeah, there we go. Oh, and uh, I will just say, as you see, there is a sticker there. The uh, locomotive and tender are permanently coupled as the DCC socket is in the tender. But I'm trying to stop it from falling over. But anyway, thank you for watching, guys, and I'll see you later.